Well, greetings Earthlings. It's been a while since I've said hello. It's the 2nd of March, 2024. PCT season has just started. So I guess all the first hikers have uh, had their first night last night. I hear they've got a snowstorm on the way, so I hope you're all safe in the next few days. Got a little bit of late snow here. We don't often get snow here in Wales anymore. I'm in um, the car park to the Skewin Mountain in Abergavenny, South Wales. Um, we don't get much snow anymore in Wales. So we've got this little bit of March snow here. It's not going to stick, I don't think. I say that, I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably be locked in this, uh, snowed in in this car park all weekend, won't I? <laughs> um, so as soon as it's the start of the PCT season, I thought I'd get on and tell you all that I'm going back to the PCT this year. Um, I couldn't, I'm sorry I've been away, I couldn't hike all last year because of nerve damage in my right foot from the PCT. Um, just constant, constant walking, 2,650 miles. Um, I couldn't I, I couldn't do anything I couldn't run I couldn't exercise I couldn't even do air squats it took eight months to heal but everything's good now I'm half marathon fit um, now the weather's getting better I'll be out so I'll be getting training but the reason I'm going back over is um, the main reason is to fill in the fire closures I had to get around in 2022 um, and of course because I miss it it's a good excuse to go back I'm really looking forward to getting in some of those lakes. Yeah. So I oh, just got a few notes here. Um, so I guess um, we'll have to talk about the sections I've got to do, the mileage, how I'm going to go about it. There'll be a gear video in the future. I've got uh, 20 days off work. Uh, it's probably going to be July. Um, 10 days paid, 10 unpaid, uh, let's shout out Emma and Natalie for giving me the time off, thanks guys, I know Emma watches these videos, thanks for that. So let's head back to the workshop and I'll get the map out and I'll show you what I've got planned. It's going to be fantastic, it's going to be so good to be going back, really looking forward to it. All right. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Snow? <laughs> we haven't had snow in years. <laughs> Look at it. What is it? What is this? All right. Okay, so here we have the classic map of the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, this is a map that a lot of people have to follow their friends and family as they, as they go in north up through the trail. Um, Basically, the PCT is 2,650 miles from Campo in the south down here. Let's get down here. You can see Campo there on the Mexican border. All the way up, we're going to follow the red line through the desert, through the western side of the Mojave Desert, up through the Sierra Nevada Mountains, through Yosemite, the rest of NorCal, Tahoe there. Up into Oregon, where's the path go? It goes west there. That was annoying, wasn't it? Um, through Oregon, into Washington State, and then finally up through the Cascade Mountains to the border up here at the monument. Let me get in there for you guys. Excuse the workshop mess. High production values on this video. There's the monument there, so um, I'll just briefly show you which three areas I've got to cover, uh, and then I'll go through in a bit more detail on Far Out, the navigation app. So I'll be flying into Seattle. Let's just zoom out there so you can see in the northwest. Um, then either flying down to um, Portland, down here, and then get the bus over to Bend. Where is Bend? There it is. Um, there it is, sorry. And then I have to get down towards just north of Crater Lake, where I need to get to the Diamond Lake Highway, which is here. The red line you can see there is the trail. 
uh, Diamond Lake Highway and then a hike up to Windigo Pass you can see there. Um, the Windigo Pass fire was the one, if you remember from my videos, we got turned back on, back from the night before, had to walk back to the highway and go around. So from Diamond Lake Highway, I need to hike north to Sheltered Cove. Is that Sheltered Cove? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, Sheltered Cove. Um, then I need to get transport up to somehow, probably back to Bend. And then I have to get transport to uh, we're going to Portland where's Frog Lake guys three sisters Kenzie Pass Santium Pass which is let's get you in there there we are you see Santium Pass there Try and get you in there. Santium Pass, north up to Frog Lake. Uh, that was called a lion's head enclosure, fire closure, sorry. Um, then after that, we'll be heading all the way up north to do a heart's pass to the monument. There's a monument on the Canadian border. So that's just a little overview. Um, Basically, we'll have a quick look in far out and I'll show you a few more details and give you mileage and positions, etc. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, so this is the Oregon section of the Far Out Navigation app. Um, this is the app that most people use when navigating on the PCT. It's brilliant. It's really good. Uh, so let's zoom in uh, to... We need to find Diamond Lake... Diamond Lake... Uh, Highway, there it is, there's Diamond Lake. Uh, that's Diamond Lake Lodge there. If we just follow the road down to here, this is the highway, uh, 128 also known as, or 138 also known as Diamond Lake Highway. Um, from there, there's a great water cache just bare, there on that dirt road, really useful. So um, we hiked, so you head north and you go to Mount Teals in here, which is pretty uh, impressive mountain. You head north and we got stopped somewhere in this section here, stopped for the night and we got informed that there was a fire closure here. Um, so then what we had to do is go all the way out of, um, so the fire started here somewhere. I think we were camped about here and a fire started here somewhere. Um, so then we had to get a lift, we had to avoid all this area here and we had to get a lift up to Shelter Cove. Uh, where we continued on from the trail there. So in total, let me just look at the mileage. Diamond Lake Highway 1847 to Shelter Cove 1906, 59 miles. So that's a 59 mile stretch. Um, nice little stop there at uh, Shelter Cove. There's loads of stranded hikers there um, from various fires s south of that position. Um, and everyone said it was going to be the biggest hiker party ever because there were so many PCT hikers there. But everyone was in bed by eight, so <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, had a nice swim in that lake. Nice swim with Pony. Shout out to Pony. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next section. So much further north, um, Santium Pass is, I believe this is Santium Pass. Um, Highway 20, Santium Pass. Um, this was uh, kind of where the start of the Lion's Head fire closure was, a closure that had been shut for years. And of course, once it had gone past it, they reopened it. <laughs> um, some people sneaked through it in 2022. A few people got caught and got in trouble sneaking through it as well. Um, it was a bit of a contentious issue that year. Uh, anyway, I went around it. A lot of us, most people went around it. Um, so Santium Pass, let's just check the mileage to Frog Lake. Frog Lake, where is Lisa from Ben, dropped me off. Because, well, basically, uh, Jack, Sabrina, and Extra and I, Jack took us to Bend. We stayed at Bend. Uh, we all split up there. Um, I ended up waiting five days for shoes. And then Lisa, a trail angel, who put me up, took me to Frog Lake. 
2087. So that's an 87 mile stretch. Let's just follow it north because after Frog Lake, it's going to be very tempting. Let's have a look. You can see how great this terrain is. There's a few nice lakes there, isn't there? Have I gone past it? No. No. Okay, got completely lost there. So from Santium Pass here up to follow up north to Frog Lake. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't find it again. Where is it? That's oh, not far from here. Uh, Frog Lake, which is here. Frog Lake campsite there. Um, I was dropped off here by Lisa from Bend. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, it's going to be tempting, actually, to keep hiking north to Timberline Lodge, which is up here somewhere, uh, where there's a really good feast, really good... Uh, it's a really good hike, and it's a famous uh, lodge. It's been in a lot of films, including The Shining, and they've got a good buffet where all the hikers stop there. So... From there, well, I'll then be heading north into Washington. Um, and let's go and have a look at that. Okay, this is the Washington section. So I'm going to have to get up to Mazama and Hearts Pass. Mazama is here. Um, then I'm going to get, have to get a lift out here to Hearts Pass. That's past peak campsite there. That's quite a rough road. There was a landslide across it in 2022 as well. Caused all sorts of problems. And from there it is... Well, it's not far. Let's have a look at the mileage. Hearts Pass to Canada, 30 miles. So 30 miles from Hearts Pass there in the middle. Up to the monument here on the border. There we go, 2,655 miles. And then it's either then into Canada and over to, back over to Vancouver, Seattle, or back to Hearts Pass and across to Seattle. So that is that. It's going to be great. I'm going to take you with me. So guys, that is the plan. I'm going to spend a month on the trail. I'm really excited. Got a few new bits of gear. We'll have a gear video, we'll get through that. I'm gonna have a little bit more comfort gear because uh, I'm not gonna be, you know, trail fit at all. Um, I'll only be doing max 15 miles a day, I guess, um, rather than the uh, 25, up to 25 that I was doing by the end of the trail. Um, videos, I'm thinking I might do one a day because if I'm only doing 15 miles a day, then I'll have time to stop, I'll have time to swim, I'll have time to take video. Um, <laughs> don't know how it works out with time on feet, but um, but that's the plan. Maybe one a day. Um, well, I might do a town day for you as well, because I never did that, did I? So I think a town day would be interesting, wouldn't it? I think most people are interested in that. Really excited, I can't wait. I can't believe it's happening, actually. Um, especially as I spent so long injured um, and I haven't hiked at all. If you look back through some of my videos, you can see I tried. It didn't go very well. <laughs> um, uh, so next video is a gear video. And also I've got a video explaining, because I, I realised never in all the videos I took of the PCT, like 35 videos, never actually told you what inspired me to go on the trail. So uh, I think I'll do like a quite a good video on that. Um, so, PCT 2024, I'll take you with me.